Hello everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 Wonder Kids five years on. So this is an opportunity for you guys to see how they've improved in five years, what the values are like, that type of stuff. I'm also thinking about doing kind of over the next next two months, um, a top 10 from each individual nation. So if that's something that you want to see five years on, so you know you can get an idea if you are, for example, wanting to go in Portugal, and you want to see their top 10 players use Portuguese in five years' time and see the players you maybe need to keep a hold on to, what they develop like, how they compare to your save. Please let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see. We'll do the top 10 English, top 10 Spanish, stuff like that. So please let me know. Make sure you watch the video all the way through. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But apart from that, let's get right into it. The first player we're going to talk about is Herling Haaland. Now, of course, we are in the year 2024. This is five years on. As you can see, in the end, he made 90 appearances for Dortmund, scoring 58 goals. He did get a move to Manchester City, 46 appearances, 27 goals. So he is a goal scorer. You can see his attributes have massively improved. I think his finishing was like um, 17 on the last video, which will be yesterday's video. You could always go back. These players are on yesterday's video. So if you want to check how they look, um, definitely look at that. But yeah, Erling Haaland, 19 finishing. In crazy attributes, composure 16, off the ball 19, a born goal scorer. Let's see exactly how much he went to Manchester City for. So 93 million. So that's kind of what you're looking at in terms of value regarding buying Hurling Allen. Of course, he was at Dortmund for three years, uh, or, or two years, three years, and then he's just moved to Manchester City for the last two years. But he scored 20 goals in 29 appearances in his first, first season. Um, looking at that, he might actually break that this in real life. 29 appearances, 16 goals for Dortmund. 32 appearances, 22 goals. 19 for Man City. Only 19, scoring 13 goals though. And then 27 appearances, 14. So I'm assuming in the next five years or so, he will become a Manchester City kind of top, top striker. I mean, like I say, he's only 23 years old still. He's been capped 39 times and 19 goals as well. So that is Hurling Haaland. Let me know in the comments if you've had any kind of experiences with Erling Haaland as well. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. And Trent Alexander-Arnold looks absolutely insane. 75 million value, only 25 years old. Now made 221 appearances for Liverpool. But looking at his attributes, 17 technique, 18 passing, 16 first touch, 18 crossing. I mean, the list just kind of goes on. He is probably the best wing-back on the game right now, unless there's any regions and stuff like that. But looking at Trent, he's absolutely insane. And I, I don't think I've ever seen this guy leave Liverpool. Again, I know I keep saying right in the comments, but has anyone ever seen Trent Alexander leave Liverpool? Because I haven't on FM20 yet. And he's the type of player that reminds me like like a Gerrard who will never kind of leave. So yeah, that's Trent Alexander-Arnold. Let's have a little look at his history in more depth though. So you can see we started kind of here. I um, made 30 appearances, scored a lot of assists to be fair. Nine assists here in 21-22. Average ratings always sticking above the sevens, which is a, a good thing, of course. I mean, to be fair, his average ratings are above 7.3 every single season. The biggest being the 7.38, where he didn't score any goals that year, but he had he had four assists, which is odd that, yeah, he had 34 appearances there, nine assists, but he only got a 7.35 rating. But yeah, that is Trent Alexander-Arnold. Again, 75 million, about 195k a week. Model citizen as well. Uh, he's got some player traits as well, what has been learned, which is really, really strong. But yeah, that's Trent Alexander-Arnold. A bit of a strange one now, Vincius Jr. You know, in the last episode or the last video when I said, you know, this guy might get transfer listed and stuff like that. It looks like this actually happened because Vincius Jr. is playing in China um, at HB China Fortune. I've never even heard of them. But they, are, they are in the Super League. Um, Vincius Jr., 17 dribbling. I mean, his attributes haven't really changed massively. I guess, but it's only valued at 28.5 million. I mean, playing your trade in China, you know, you aren't going to see... I mean, you should really see an improvement if they have got potential, to be fair, because they have got good facilities. So, but again, it's only on £77,000 a week. He did only make 20 appearances for Real Madrid, but he's been here for a long time, four years. He stayed in China, and it's not even a high wage, which is very surprising. But 99 appearances, 34 goals for China. China Fortune, if we look, look 22.5 million... That's all they purchased him for, which is an absolute steal, by the way. Which is why I say make sure you shortlist these type of players, because 
A lot of them can't get into the main team of Real Madrid. Like that season, they made two appearances before I thought, uh, it's not working, let's move. And then I'm assuming he probably got transfer listed, but that is Vincius Jr. Emmanuel Vignato, of course, has stayed in Italy. And look at his attributes compared to the last video. Absolutely insane improvement in his attributes. I mean, he looks like a top, top winger. Definitely can play AMC as well, so don't rule that out. I mean, if you look at the AMC role, he can definitely play there. But he's made 35 appearances for Inter. It looks like he's just joined. But them, them attributes are really strong. Technique, vision, off the ball, flair, determination. It's got the pace. I mean, he's got acceleration. His pace could do with a little bit higher. But the crossing and the dribbling and the first touch is all perfect. If we have a little look. So, of course, we've seen him at this stage on the last video where he was on loan at Kievo. He did then go on to stay at Bologna for four years before eventually moving to Inter Milan for 24.5 million. Now, these prices are really cheap. Like, obviously, we're showing you these videos because these are the top wonder kids on FM20. And for the fact that these players are going for 24 million in today's market, it's kind of insane. I'm sure you guys would agree with that. But that is Emmanuel Vignato. The player in the last video that I said would definitely move away from AZ, and it looks like he did. He's been at two clubs since then, so you're gonna, if you are going to sign this guy, you are going to have to be quick. And this guy, again, very similar to who we've just seen in terms of Vignato on that right-hand side. Very, very good. I mean, you can't really tell much apart from either of them, apart from this guy has got the pace. Um, of course, Vignato has got more crossing, but only by one. So, again, a very, very good signing. 45 caps for, for uh, Holland. You can see, let's have a little look at his transfer history though. So he started obviously here, which is the season we saw him in the last video. He then went to Real Madrid for 49 million, um, where he made 33 appearances, six goals. Season after that, he made 37 appearances, 16 goals, 13 assists, which is a very good season. Season after that, he had a little bit of a worse season. 37 appearances, 11 goals, nine assists. But then he moved to Chelsea for 125 million, which is crazy money so this is why you should kind of get him around this period i guess unless you want to pay that money a few years later but the season for chelsea's first season 38 appearances 11 goals and seven assists 7.58 rating his best rating was of course that season where he scored 16 goals and for a winger that is crazy but that is calvin stings moving on to sandro tonali now and yeah <laughs> them attributes oh my lord <laughs> they're crazy <laughs> I get, does anyone else get really excited when they see players like this? I mean, just look at his attributes. It's just crazy. Like, seven, I can't, I, there's so much green. That's all I'm looking at right now. It's just, I, I don't even need to talk about this. Look how good he is. 74 million. He is moving to PSG, which is crazy. Let's have a look. I don't know how much he's joining for. He was, of course, wanted. Let's have a little look at his history, though. So, of course, we saw him at Brescia. He did move to Juventus for 56 million. So, that's the type of money you'd have to probably pay for him. Um, and of course, Juventus has kind of been holding the first team, almost playing every single game apart from this year. Might have had an injury or something. It was his first season, though. Well, 38 appearances, 7.40 rating in his last one. It's a shame I can't see the price he's going to Real Madrid for. It doesn't really tell me anywhere, which is a shame. But yeah, he is joining PSG on the 1st of July. But yeah, that is Sandro Tonali. I'm kind of getting my point proven quite wrong at the moment. Like in the last video, I did mention that Rodrigo is a player that wasn't really quite there in terms of comparing to Vincius Jr. And it's been the opposite, actually. So Rodrigo has actually turned out better than Vincius Jr. But well, that's because he's probably stayed at Real Madrid. Now, of course, he's got 17 dribbling, 17, uh, 16 finishing, 6, 17 first touch, 17 off the ball, 16 work rate. Very, very strong. If we look at his history, he's obviously stayed at Real Madrid. You can see we saw from this kind of season. I mean, it's not really... I mean, the first few years, it's only really been the last season where he's actually gone into the Real Madrid team. And, and I'm assuming he's probably going to stay there now. 11, 11 goals, 2 assists, 4 player of the matches. Apart from that, not really much to talk about. This season right here, he didn't play a single appearance for Real Madrid. But that is Rodrigo. And the guy we spoke about, Kai Havertz, £90 million value. He's only just recently joined Manchester United in 2023. Again, as a centre midfielder, unreal attributes, 17 technique, 18 vision. You can see how good this guy looks. And if we have a quick look at his history, so he went for £98 million. So he did stay at Bayer Leverkusen for a long time, to be fair. What, four years? Before he eventually moved to Manchester United, of course, playing... He only played seven appearances that season, so that tells me he had a bit of an injury in 2021. I mean, we can have a little look at this, actually. I don't know if we can. 
go to history injuries 2021 he must have had like a, a major one uh yeah damaged cruciate ligament so he was out for seven months um and then he was cut yeah so seven months that's why he didn't play then the bio leverkusen but he came back with a bang and made 31 appearances 10 goals 10 assists 34 appearances 8 goals 12 assists and then manchester united's first season 36 goals uh, 36 appearances 11 goals and 9 assists for kai havertz move on to the next one delict now a player that i told you would be one of the best ball playing defenders in the world and it's easily you can see why i mean look at his attributes 16 technique 16 tackling passing 16 for a center back this is why he will turn out to be the best center back on the game and you can see he didn't really he didn't move at all from from juventus he stayed there kind of cementing his place in the team i guess for 35 appearances he just scored a hard goal as well maybe he had three assists that season the 7.48 rating so yeah that is matthias delict and finally, Kylian Mbappe, still valued at 102 million, only 25 years old. But looking at his attributes, you can see why he's valued at 102 million. And you can see why he's probably not left PSG, because no one's going to pay that amount of money for him. And he's on £675,000 per week, which is unreal. If we have a quick look at his history, you can see he obviously joined there, but we're looking at this season 29 goals in 35 appearances with five assists. Season after, 28 appearances eight goals are quite a bad season to be fair the season after that 34 appearances 28 goals 33 appearances 19 goals six assists and the last season 24 goals so he is a born goal scorer i don't know where they're playing him they might be playing him on the wing or up front but he is one player that if you can sign he's going to score a lot of goals for you that has been the end to the video hope you've enjoyed it if you do want me to do the things i spoke about at the start of the video Please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.